Here's a quick tip, if you are rearranging your farm or trying to find a good layout for your farm, take your fastest or your favorite steeds, for example Lucky, and put them near your house because I accidentally put Lucky all the way over there at that pen. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, before I accidentally put Lucky over there and it's just annoying because he was so far. And don't copy this pen because Lucky is a herd dino, so he will not be happy living alone in this small pen but yeah you just gotta put lucky with a bunch of other dinos near your house hi this is my rebels and welcome back to the only rare build your pines challenge i want to expand this farm over here put more potatoes and watermelons wait i didn't even plant potatoes and watermelons here not potatoes pineapples and watermelons here Okay, so if I want to put more over there, I would need to buy seeds already. I don't think I have money for it. I have around 2,000. I'm not sure if I can buy enough watermelon seeds for it. But let's try. Maybe I can sell some more items or maybe there are some crops that are ready for harvest already. Oh, hi! Do, do you need work? I think my Dimetrodon needs work since I took his seed pot before okay help me with planting here <laughs> i'm just running around here looking for work you're a good dino then let's make sure that this area will have sticky fertilizer but i think i want to plant more seeds over at the other areas first let's see if i can plant other seeds hmm do i want to plant carrots there or tomatoes tomatoes turnips i haven't really discovered tomatoes yet so i don't know which season that will grow well on the other ones are turnips have i discovered turnips yes cretumnus i can plant it there but its perfect soil is firm unfortunately so it will not grow well in that soil the other ones with perfect soil for sticky fertilizer are beetroot and of course carrots, garlic. I think I'll just plant more carrots there then so that all crops over there will be sticky type. I currently don't have enough so I'll just take some from one of my seed pots. I know I have lots of carrots, not just those. So let's quickly look. What are these? <laughs> I don't know what are the plants here. Okay, these are carrots. I'll take some more. 24, okay. And then let's fill up the plots here and then make sure that it has fertilizers. Oh, the weeds were already at in my pocket. Okay. <laughs> Wait, can I... Can I just put them all? No, I have to click one by one? What? Oh, I can just use the mouse scroll wheel then. Right, that's good. I cannot transfer it all for some reason though. Okay, the scroll wheel then. The maximum amount of fertilizers I can make are 49. Just 49. This is my first time using fertilizers, so I'm not sure how that will work on the crops. We'll just have to wait and see. My small dinos are moving around. They don't have work since all of the plots have seeds inside. So they're just kind of going around. <laughs> trying to look for work when there's none. Oh yeah. The soil automatically becomes sticky here then. I don't have enough weeds for that though. So only random crops will get fertilized, huh? Brownie, did you run out of stamina that fast? You haven't even planted a lot yet. There's still a lot of areas there that needs planting. What, you want help? You want help, Brownie? I think that Dino wants to help. Maybe we can make that a helper here. I don't know which is its work hub, though. <laughs> I might mess it up. Hmm. I'm just gonna be the one that helps Brownie. Oh, well. Should start leveling up those small dinos. Yeah, Brownie, I'll help you. You know what? I'll help you later. Once I'm sure that you don't have stamina for it. 
Right, now let's take care of our growing amount of crops. I think I have too many. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> There's only some that needs harvesting today. Do we need the dino for it or... I can do it myself, I think. Let's use our galley for all of the crops. Wait, why did that pineapple not get watered? That's sad. Huh. Well, I hope I harvest that pineapple soon. Or maybe it can be harvested already. I remember last time the pineapples did not shimmer once it was ready for harvest. So I have a feeling that this one is already ready for harvest as well. It's just not shining. Oh no, it's not. Never mind. <laughs> We are getting some harvests, but not a lot. I don't think it will be enough to get more watermelon seeds or pineapple seeds, but we'll see. Maybe I can sell some more. I can sell the carrot soup and Peepin's crunchy carrot soup as well. Oh, I still have more weeds. I just couldn't put it all in the composter, I guess. Now I want to make sure that my none of my dinos will grow hungry while I'm exploring outside. So I grabbed a bunch of food and let's visit their pens. Make sure they're fed and clear up the poop as well I guess. I keep forgetting to put saddle on between. <laughs> For some reason I think I thought I just cleared a bunch of poops and now there's a lot again. Ay. Owning dinos is not easy. At least we're getting fertilizer out of it. <laughs> I think there's some poop in this area, but I cannot see it. And one technique that I have learned from a comment before, thank you so much, is to remove one of the decorations so that we can see the land more clearly. And now I can confirm that there's actually no poop in here. <laughs> But yeah, it's just easier to see if there's poop or not by do by removing this. It's already afternoon today because I started this session around midday. Hmm. We can still do a lot though, I think so. It's important to water this though. I'm not sure if my small dinos are leveling up by just being in their work hubs. They don't have any work right now. So I doubt that they are leveling up. They will level up if they actually plant. So maybe it would be helpful if I take them out on adventures in order to level up their skills. Okay, it's really good with getting late. So I want to go to the plaza now. Let's just grab whichever dino are the closest to us. Um, you two. Hey, we got a bunch of small dinos. Pag-ibig, Marilag, and Musica. Come follow me, small dinos. <laughs> They're so cute. They are quite a bit useless while exploring though. Because one of their other skills while exploring is that they are discoverers. They will point to you if you are missing some items. But they are so far behind you that even if they find something, you don't really see it unless you look back often, which I don't do personally. No, almost everyone went home already. Oh, I went here too late. I can still go to the desert though, I think. Or to their respective homes, just so I can finish their quests. Let's see, I think I have a lot of quests with Orani that I can turn in today. Yeah, Orani has been looking for forest wood. <laughs> Orani, oh no, I don't have their location though. I have so many quests with Orani. Uh, there's one, returning a notebook. Two, the classics two, which I still don't have. Then a collection, a delivery quest from her or Annie, to Marlo. And then forest wood, three forest wood. Since it's getting dark, I want to go back to the desert because I'm still looking for a rare Allosaurus. So let's not miss the chance to potentially find one. Sadly, this one is not the Allosaurus we want, but we are seeing the Triceratops that we want again. Ay. It's a bit hard to find a rare Allosaurus, huh? See? I already found the forageables before my little dinos can even react to it. <laughs> They're still cute though, so they can be forgiven. Oh, I don't have enough room. Ah! If the small dinos cannot tell me ahead of time if there are some forageables, 
I wish that they could at least help me carry some items. Wouldn't that be great? They'll have little backpacks. That'll be more suitable for larger dinos though, but I just I just keep thinking of other uses of the small dinos. Because right now I feel like they don't have a lot of use outside the ranch, that is. Why do I keep seeing you two, huh? Is this a rust or a coffee? Oh, it's a coffee one, isn't it? Oh, I want to take you home though, you are so cute. It's just an uncommon one though, so I'd have to let it go, sadly. Is Zara, is Zara still around? Zara is still outside her house. Maybe we can still talk to her before this day ends. I'm not sure how much time we have left. I really love the desert at night. Just the lights. <laughs> yes, we can still talk to her. If I seem groggy, my rebels, it is because I just woke up. Turns out napping is hard work. <laughs> I saw something that will wake you up. What do you know about the Parasaurs painting at, on the pot in the dunes? Oh, spotted them, have you? I see why you're interested. They were likely drawn many moons ago. I'm afraid that does not leave us with much of a trail to follow. When things have happened so far in the past, it is hard to engage with them in the present. Hmm, I don't like that the dialogues do not update though. I've already found the parasaurs and Zara is still talking to me like we're still trying to find them. I suppose that's why the other residents of Philippines have never shown much interest in my research. Anytime I try to discuss our archaeological beginnings, well, people have been known to fall asleep, like you. Occasionally, they drool. It's quite embarrassing for me, my rare balls. If only we could inspire the rest of Philippines, they could see how history might enrich their daily lives. But until that day, it is much easier to nap. <laughs> See, another quest with Orani. We really need to hunt this person. I don't have anything else to do here, but I still want to just walk around and hopefully level up our tiny dinos. I don't think any of them leveled up though, sadly. And one of them is missing. Why are only two of them following me now? What happened to the other one? What happened to Pag Ibig? Pag Ibig left me. Oh, that is so sad. I don't think we were, we managed to visit all of the pens yet. Oh, this one! Oh my god! My helper dinos don't have food. They don't have a trough. <laughs> I feel so bad. Here. Here's your medium trough. I was starving them and making them work. I'm terrible. Food! Okay, now they're happy. I'm so sorry! How dare I? I've been using them a lot as well. Let's quickly look at our other dinos. Make sure that we're not starving anyone else. I might want to put that large trough somewhere else. In instead of over with the parasaur and two small dinos. How are my carnivores doing? I haven't really been visiting them. But it's okay. They are loners. They, they might actually prefer it that way. I'll just visit them once every blue moon, <laughs> clean their poop, make sure they're well fed, and then just leave them alone like they want to. I think there's still some time, so let's try and saddle up our friend di or our helper dinos. And then I might want to put some decorations already. Yeah, I'll just grab some. I have ran out of forest decorations though. Let's check which pens don't have decorations yet. This one for Paralumen. This is quite easy since they are a valley dino. They should be happy with this stuff. I feel bad for not arranging it properly though. Hmm. Let's give it some variety then. <laughs> so you wanna use this rock as a bed? I don't know. It's just there. Keep you happy. Paralumen. Who else? These three are also valley dinos. I have lots of valley decorations. Why haven't I been doing this? Okay, we managed to change the pen biome to valley as well before bedtime hit. Our storage units have been delivered. Okay, that will make things easier in some ways. Loki, I'm sorry. I know you need better arrangements soon. Soon, Loki. Oh boy. While we don't have the watering pot, this is gonna be such a pain to water everything every day. <laughs> oh, our 
spring onions are ready for harvest. Nice. Those spring onions will enable us to cook classics too. I'll make sure to save before doing the classics too. So that I can I can redo it if I make a mistake again. <laughs> I was so sad when I messed up the classics too. But we got it this time, surely. Okay, I'm no longer gonna replant anything in that area. I'll just keep it like that. Find time to use my shovel to properly remove the plots of land. May I interrupt your poop meeting? I need to use galley. Here, let me clean that up for you. This is so daunting. 131 crops need watering. 17 dinos need attention. Oh boy. <laughs> A chunk of my time has been taking care of the ranch now, but that's okay. I think we'll have more time for exploring and finding rare dinos once I removed more of the crops over here. Which should be done soon enough. Let's not forget to put a saddle on our patchy between. We can put one of our storage chests here. Since it's in another area, I'll put it right here at the corner and now that we did that we can make uh, some of the some of the pens here into aryakuta i'll make those two helpers and decorate your pen excuse me let's give you a pot and then this cute couch and then let's put a light so they can relax there in that area <laughs> I don't know what to do with this other one. I might do the same thing. Or just potted plants here. Two potted plants. And then uh, a sitting area somewhere there. Okay, there we go. Be helpers soon, okay? Oh, these three have different biomes, so I can't really arrange their pens just yet. Oh, these also need watering. And those. I think I need agua instead of sinagtala. Sinagtala is so slow. Let's go pick up agua. Wait, where did I leave agua? Oh, over here. Should I be sprinting with agua or should I have been saving their stamina? Oh no, I forgot to help Brownie plant the pineapples. And now those will not grow on the same day. Ah, that's sad. <laughs> I don't like that. Well, at least the fertilizer worked. All of the plots in this area are now fertilized to have sticky fertilizer. I think Agua has leveled up enough to be able to water everything without having to eat a poppin or without having to change a helper. Oh, that's right. Well, good job, Agua. Lucky, I want to make a new pen for you, but I'm not sure which dino I want with you yet. So maybe when we get another dino... Can you hang on a little bit longer? <laughs> Sorry. This tree also need their biomes changed. I need to change it into valley biome. And that's also easy. So what am I doing? Why am I still not doing it? Let's give you all some bushes. Just random ones by the tree. And then I'm gonna put a lantern there as well. Or on another tree. Or by the entrance, uh, by their food. By their food. There we go. Wait, too many dinos are following me right now. Let's try and refresh the farm. <laughs> Where's Lucky though? I want Lucky as my steed. If you look at the lower left, um, five dinos are following me right now, which should not be possible. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Okay, now only three of them are following. Since we harvested spring onions, we should make classics too. And now I have to go back to actually get the ingredients. <laughs> Those pineapples are for selling. Let's see. Potatoes. Carrots. And then wood and, wood and stone. Oops. Let's see how many we'll be able to make. Orani though, where are you Orani? Hold on. Let's hunt for Orani first. I remember the trading in Pebble Plaza. It's still midday. We can make the soup first. 
so that we'll still have space for inventory because if I turn in all the quests with Orani, my inventory might be full. So let's do this now. And uh, so that if I mess it up again, the reload will just be outside my farm. So it should be fine. Okay, let's go. This is it. The soup. I just want a bounty harvest. Oh, oh my god, that's so cute. Puggy big, hi. <laughs> I can make five. One star quality. I'm gonna do it. Okay, there we go. <laughs> oh, I did not mess up that time. Yes, we did it, Puggy Big. We did it. We did great that time. Mm -hmm. And now we can go to Orani. I'm vibing with your look today, honey pie. Well, I brought you a home cooked meal. Goodness gracious, that's a one star quality, Orani. So you did. This looks incredible. My stomach's been rumbling so loud. Thought I was gonna attract some local dinos. I didn't realize you like cooking. Why don't you try making this? Bea Veloshana. So that's the reward for that. Rice dishes are my favorite. Thanks for making a girl feel at home. Sure. Also, take all of these quests. Yes, give me money or rewards. Not sure what you're gonna give me. Hmm. You always look so cute. Well, stop it, Arani. You look cute. But you'd look even cuter if you use this discount at my stall. Don't mention it. We're pals, aren't we? Oh, I became pals with her because of all those quests. <laughs> well, nice. You seem busy as ever, my wearables. What has you run off your feet today? Have you seen the paintings on the giant pot in Arakota? Huh. Never taken much of a look, if I'm honest. I guess the art has survived a long time. To create something people still want to look at years later. Maybe I should go take a look after all. You should carve some furniture inspired from it. That's not a half bad idea, my wearables. Thanks for the suggestion. Hey, my wearables. Remember a while ago when I was missing the swamp? Well, I figured out a way to cheer myself up. I'm gonna make some hot suzel. It's a swamp dish. You can't help but feel warm when you eat it. But the thing is, I'm short of you ingredients. I'm waiting for Mari to come by for an order of poppins, so I can't exactly leave my stall. Could you help? All the time, Pippin. Okay, I already got plenty of onions, but I'm completely out of everything else. Chili peppers, garlic, cranberries. The rest I should have back at my place. Hot Suzel really reminds me of home. Taste buds work like that sometimes. I'm extremely busy trying to sniff the air for new scents. When I ran out of recipe ideas for cooking, this is how I come up with new ideas. Mmm. So far, I've discovered fresh breeze, grass, and fresh cotton. Though the last one might just have been Granny walking by. <laughs> you ever looked at those paintings on the giant pot in Ariakota? Hold up! There's a giant pot in Ariakota? You've never been there? It's the smell of ancient history. Giant pot. Giant pot. Giant pot. A pot? Reminds me of a mango chutney. Wow. That would be super tasty to make. Thanks, my wearables. I have a great recipe for it. Seems only fair to share. So I'm in the point now where I am getting the quest to get the cooking recipes from the villagers. I have a lot of extra potatoes. It seems like I only need some for the classics too. So I can sell maybe 99 so that I don't clutter my inventory all that much. I'm also going to sell the pineapples and chili that I harvested recently. That bumped up our money to 5,000. Nice. I'm so proud of how far you've come since moving here, my rare wells. Why, thank you! Not only have you made a whole host of dinosaur friends, but we are best friends for life too! Yay! Another bestie! Here, use it to make a home for a new pal, okay? Large Dreamstone! Mari gives a large Dreamstone once you are best friends with her. Cherry. Oh no, it doesn't have body stripes. It's just an uncommon one. Oh. Almost. We're gonna see one soon. I haven't seen Avery in quite a bit. He's in far distant lands. How about my... How about my watering pot? Oh, also, Nalrock is not here today. Oh, I wanna buy something. I don't have space though. Let's sell the meals to the other vendor. Ligaya, why are you contemplating about life there? <laughs> why are you not following me? Let's sell the pancakes, Granny's carrot soup, and Pippin's crunchy carrot soup. I feel bad. Pippin's crunchy carrot soup and Granny's carrot soup 
don't cost that much and they gave it to me on my birthday but i'm just selling it away <laughs> oh well i needed the space in my inventory and now we have a seven thousand gold again you can buy more seeds no this is not the vendor of seeds hold up you lily give me some more watermelon yes I can buy I can buy another 12 watermelon and do I still want pineapples maybe I no longer need pineapples I just need more wet watermelon seeds oh but I don't have enough money for it so we can settle for pineapples <laughs> it's okay those two are gonna give us a lot of money I'm sad that Avery is nowhere to be found anymore though my harvest basket <laughs> Wait, do we still need to talk to anyone for the giant pot quest? Owen! I haven't looked... I haven't chatted with Owen yet. He's at home. He'll be at home until night. And I want to see the Allosaurus today. Buddy Stripes Cherry, please. Buddy Stripes Cherry. No! <laughs> oh well. Are those... um? Are you a blueberry muffin? Or a wisteria? Wait, if they are a blueberry muffin, there's two of them. Okay, I think this one is. Not the other one. The other one might be Wisteria, but the other one, let's see. If we can call it. <laughs> oh boy. Not you. <coughs> I just left. <laughs> I need the other one, this one. Yep. Oh, you know what? Why did I make that friend call? I could just go see you later. And then attempt... No, not you again! How many times do I have to reject you before you get the hint? Okay, please be a blueberry muffin though. Yes, it's a blueberry muffin! Oh, it's gonna be dark soon. Um, Let's run, let's run! We gotta go to Owen and then we gotta get a poppin for our Velociraptor. A Velociraptor likes a spicy poppin. Do I have any spicy poppin by any chance? Nope. Okay, we really need to go home. So we have to hurry up. There are two agendas remaining. Go to Owen. Discuss the giant pot. And then go to the Velociraptor. I don't really run out of time for this dino, so I went here instead of going to Owen first. Because for Owen, I can always talk to him tomorrow, but tomorrow this Velociraptor will be gone and I really like the color of Blueberry Muffin. <coughs> blueberry is not found natively here in the Philippines, so I don't have a translation for Blueberry. But I did some research and it seems that... There is a wild blueberry type that's only seen in Baguio or in the Cordillera Highlands here. And the name of it is Ayusip. So it's just similar to blueberries but not exactly blueberries. But we are gonna name this dino Ayusip because of that. I also learned new things. <laughs> Hi Ayusip. You're a good dino. Owen is still awake thankfully. My rare balls have been toying with where to focus my writing in the next chapter of my book. Do you think readers would be more invested in the intestine charts of herbivores? Or perhaps section on how lung capacity affects speed of raptors? I'm interested in the speed. What about the dinosaur paintings on the giant pot in Ariakota? What a suggestion! I haven't given them a close look, but now you mention it. Compare the ancient in interpretations of dinosaurs to their modern counterpart, well, that could make for quite the thrilling chapter. I best head out to take a closer look at that pot. Well, I'm happy to inspire the people in town to be interested in the giant pot in Ariakota. <laughs> Zara, I have inspired everyone! You'll never guess what has happened. I, I can. Remember how I told you people in Paleopies were not interested in history? Uh-huh. I was out for my daily walk and as I wandered near the giant pot, well, I saw Marlo, Owen, and Pippin all looking at the paintings. They all wanted to use them as inspiration for their own work, writing and cooking and the like. Together, I'm sure we can solve the mystery of the parasaurs too. That is awkward. <laughs> Take this, I was going to have a spot of afternoon tea but there's too much to catch up on. Until our next discovery! 
Now that we've gotten everyone invested and interested in this giant plot, it's time to end the episode. Thank you so much for watching, and if you're enjoying this series so far, please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't yet. I'll see you next time. Goodbye for now.